tonight, so. Yeah, I read the email that you sent. Oh, good. Great. Yeah, that has it. We prepared a letter that outlines our concerns that we would like to read. Senator Cardinale, we are mothers, fathers, children, and grandchildren, business owners, writers, community leaders, health care professionals, and people of faith. We are New Jerseyans, and we are gathered here today to speak truth to power on your voting record that supports fracking and its toxic web of infrastructure that's tearing through our state. We would actually like to talk to the senator. He's not here. Can he can you get him here? I mean, there isn't a session today, is there? No, there isn't a session today, but I don't know exactly where he is at this time. Maybe you can reach out to him. Um, I'll see what his availability is. Hold on one second, please. Thank you. He's not available. Where is he's, he? He's, he's with patients. He's a dentist by trade, so he's, he's actually really? at he's, he's practicing today. We, anybody wants a chair. There's more chairs available in here. <laughs> Dear Senator and Dr. Cardinale, last week I attended a three-day occupational and environmental lung health conference sponsored by the American College of Chest Physicians and the Occupational Medicine Society of Canada. The history and dangers of fracking were discussed at length. We are looking to people such as you to ban fracking and ban fracking waste from entering New Jersey. History. Gas has historically, historically been released by fracking, but vertically. Today's horizontal fracking is harmful because it exposes more naturally existing toxic substances like radon. It exposes the earth to toxic frac fracking slurries, and it creates weakness in the earth's fragile surface that most probably causes earthquakes. Uh, you must know this. Your undergraduate degree is chemistry. Dangers. Pennsylvania stopped using frac fracking liquid waste for winter road de-icing because of the toxins, including radioactive radon. Now they want to dispose of it in New Jersey and Governor Christie has said no problem. Federal, laws, federal law exempts oil and gas production from NIOSH, and this is the point that enraged uh, Ms. Thomason. Right. Federal law exempts oil and gas production from NIOSH regulations. A doctor who treats an injured fracking worker for anything related to fracking and reports it to NIOSH would lose his or her medical license. Is this right? Does the practice, uh, doesn't the practice of medicine include prevention and ethical standards? You must know this. You are a dentist. How can the government at any level condone fracking? How can a doctor condone fracking? How can a senator, senator who is asking New York State to clean up its waterways condone fracking and the associate, associated management of waste? Yeah, Respectfully know. submitted by your constituent, Betsy Thomason, B-A-R-R-T, Parkridge, New Jersey. There are many people that feel, you know, the other way as far as fracking, that it is safe. This is and he apparently that people need to live in a healthy environment. And this will destroy our environment. It is getting worse. Our water Continuing water to say no isn't the isn't the solution. I want a world for my grandchildren to live in. Not so we, our movement does not have deep pocket lobbyists. We're people, uh, you know, who are concerned. Uh, most of the folks who are concerned are hard at work at their jobs and can't be here. And it's a shame that we have to take a time out of our days to fight for basic rights of clean water and clean air. Why is Senator Cardinale continuing to approve pipeline projects in, in, in and throughout our state? New compressor stations in and throughout our state. The health impacts, the safety impacts are unacceptable. Why, when we just are coming off of the largest storm to ever touch down in New Jersey because of rising sea levels and more extreme weather, are we continuing to double down on fossil fuel infrastructure that literally threatens the life of our very existence on this planet? Yet Senator Carnally continues to ignore the science. He continues to ignore the facts. Why is that? I don't think Senator Cardinale is ignoring any of the facts, but facts, there are different 
um, opinions throughout okay. the scientific oh, community. 99% of all national academies of science believe that climate change is here, it's happening right now, and it's because of humankind's burning of fossil fuels. Those are 99% of the country's top scientists in the world. Where's the fact that refutes that? This is just for profit. This is not for heating and, and, uh, and cooling Americans. We are taking this stuff out uh, and, and sending it to other countries. It's just for profit.